Hey guys, Sam from Grind and in our masterclass today, I'm going to be showing you how you can recreate a fantastic grind espresso martini at home. Now you're going to need a machine to make your pods with, some grind pods of course, a nice little coupe glass or a champagne saucer, a jigger or a cocktail measure, you're going to need two strainers, this is a Hawthorne, this is a fine strainer, a cocktail shaker, now this is a two piece but you could use a three piece as well, some vodka, we're using Absolute from Sweden, and some sugar syrup, now this is just equal parts sugar and hot water stirred till it's dissolved, and then we're ready to go. First thing we're going to do is make our coffee. Put your grind pod inside your machine and we want a double shot. We want a little bit more coffee for this one. While that's brewing, take the large half of your shaker, take your jigger, we're going to start off with our sugar syrup. So we're going to use 20 mils of sugar syrup which in the small half of your jigger is just below the top. It doesn't really matter how you hold the jigger as long as all the liquid gets in the shaker. When the coffee's ready, 35 mils of our coffee. Oh, smells great. And last but not least, 40 ml of vodka. Now this is the fun part. We're going to fill the shaker three quarters full with ice. One of the big mistakes that people make when making cocktails at home is they don't use enough ice. three quarters full. Now a little bit of cocktail shaker safety 101. Small half goes in the big half and you give it a little tap to seal it and hopefully you can see it's flat on one side and curved on the other. This is what we want. Now when we're shaking a cocktail always both hands on either side. Now you can shake like this or like this. You can't shave like this. You need to make sure that the ice is hitting both halves of the tin and you want to shake hard and fast for 8 to 10 seconds. If you think you're putting a stupid face, you're doing it right. It's going to get very cold, that means it's good to go. To break the tins apart, you want to hold your thumb over the join and hit 2 o'clock. Then, taking our two strainers, I'm going to put the Hawthorn in the tin and we're using the fine strainer so we don't get any little ice shards in our drink. Give it a little swirl. Now if you really want to elevate that serve, the final touch, just three coffee beans. And there we go, grind espresso martini at home, enjoy.